philosophy of underground music, as understood around the world, is music pure, uncensored, uncorrupted and free from pressures of record labels and commercial music trends. It is a movement where creative expression is valued over commercial success, and the musician creates for the love of art and his own esteemed ideology. Underground is anti-mainstream, where bands make music for a higher artistic expression rather than the media or desires of multiple record sales. Underground music is about independence and creative pursuits outside the prevalent social norms, a counterculture which confronts the predictable, divisive and manipulated mainstream music. Underground is believed to be hidden and uncontaminated from the corrosive effects of popular culture and mainstream media. Underground music does not aim to cater to crowds of thousands, but is contended with its limited faction of enthusiastic nonconformists and thrives in its own experimental aura of true, real and sincere self-expression. The music made by underground bands is more or less the music they want to do. It's not for no, somebody... It's basically amateur music, you can say. It's amateur, it's uh, not professional, you can say. It's uh, got more to do with the hobby, your hobby, and just you're doing it for the sake of fun. And professional is something, you know, when you really have to take it professionally. You have to go mainstream, you have to go commercial, you have to look at the people what they want, and not just, you know, what you want. So it's underground basically is what you want to play and mainstream is basically what people want. That's the difference. It's um, a very less crowd. It's been, you know, it's, it has increased a lot during the past five years. But it's more like, you know, just limited to one circle. And we see a lot of people, same people on every concert. Like each and every concert, you see all the same people coming in. And the main purpose of making music is like you get mental satisfaction. That's it. No, it's more you want to? It's more more like an achievement. Like you wanted to do something and you actually did it. But until now, it's more of a hobby at the moment. It's because it's not. You can't make it commercial. So we're studying. We're working. You know, some some of us are working. Some of us are studying. So it's basically a hobby right now. We're just doing it on a side. Exploring the Lahore underground rock music scene, which has been around for over a decade now, it is only recently that the culture has been generating interest and popularity due to the emerging trend of rock festivals. A culture, which was once underground, is now becoming mainstream. What is commonly understood as underground rock music in Lahore are rock festivals arranged with the help of a solid sponsor, where bands who term themselves as underground play to a gathering of even as large as 2,000. Uh, this is the third uh, rock festival and uh, basically it started from uh, year 1995 when uh, a couple of boys from Lahore, they organized a peace festival. Sadly, uh, after 95, it uh, never took place, and uh, Gulls Entertainment uh, has been uh, solely responsible for organizing the event for the past 
three years now and uh, we expect the audience of uh, around about uh, a million but uh, somewhere uh, between the lines of uh, 1500 2000 people <laughs> The acceptance of underground uh, will not mature because uh, uh, the media and uh, especially the multinationals, uh, they think of rock as a uh, band music or sort of thing because it's quite open, it's quite bold and uh, the lyrics uh, are quite offensive at uh, times. We have a uh, very hard time getting sponsors together and if we do have sponsors it's very hard to convince them that this kind of music is good for you and uh, I think the image of rock, it's, uh, it's, it's been over, overblown for the past 100, uh, 100, for the past 20 years, people think it's very much uh, western and uh, they affiliate uh, sex, drugs and rock and roll. Well, there's only rock and roll here, no, no sex and no drugs. In Pakistan, in Lahore, at least, there's no real underground scene. There's no real. There was an underground scene like five years ago when bands like Seth and Incision were starting out. But and there was a band called War. But now there's no underground scene. And in, in my eyes, in our eyes, and we're totally sick of it. But there's no underground scene. I mean, people play concerts in front of 3,000 people and say that they're underground bands. And like, I mean, you could like offer like one of these so-called underground bands to come on TV, and they would. And the thing is that as a band Sikor, we don't call ourselves underground because we're not underground. Okay, we are, we're not underground and we're not commercial, we're not motivated by money. And we have so many influences that it's amazing. Like, I'm influenced by everything from Satyricon to Napalm Death, to Black Sabbath, to Pantera, to everything. Everybody has their own influences. A lot of bands here, they don't really like each other, and like, a lot of them are in competition, but on top of it, like, they're all friends with each other, but like, all of them really hate each other, to be honest. But with us, at least, uh, we're at least friends with all the other bands, and we regularly play gigs with all of them. Thank <laughs> you.